Hello, my name is Y Lamb, and today we'll be looking at the FX668T. This is the next generation of video transmitters by FX. As you can see, it comes in their standard case, which we uh, know from our previous version. So let's go ahead and open it up. If you use their uh, previous line, uh, it'll actually look very similar. They have the instru instruction pamphlet. It looks very similar to the previous version. The only difference is, is up here, the controls are a little bit different. On this spe specific VTX, you can now turn on and off uh, the RF power. So uh, you can actually control when to broadcast that video signal. So that's very useful, especially when you're t attending racing events. So in here, you get your standard whip antenna, which nobody really uses. The cable, which everybody's kind of used to, a uh, very nice cable, and uh, it's very easy to get replacements for these cables. And then the VTX itself. Uh, as you can tell from this VTX, uh, the overall layout of things that you care about is the same. We have the push button on this side, and then we have the LEDs up top. So the top LEDs will control your band, and the bottom LEDs will control your channel. So let's go ahead and uh, plug this up and uh, we'll show you what the controls are for this VTX. So we went ahead and hooked everything up, which is pretty simple for VTX. We put on the antenna and then we plugged in the cable and on the other side we connected it to a cable which we can connect to a 3 cell battery. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to plug in the 3 cell battery. Once you plug it in, uh, you'll notice the LED lights come on. This is pretty standard for this type of VTX. There is a blue LED and a red LED. So the blue LED represents the band that you're currently on, and then the red LED represents the channel you're on. Now what's different about this VTX is that it actually doesn't start broadcasting video until a green LED comes on. And to turn on the green LED to start broadcasting video, you go ahead and push down the button and hold it. Once you hold it for about two to three seconds, this green LED will turn on. This means that this VTX is now broadcasting video. This is extremely useful when you're at a race and if you accidentally plugged in your VTX, you're not going to drop anybody out of the sky uh, turning on your VTX. So definitely a very nice feature. To turn it off, uh, go ahead and push the button hold for a few seconds and when the green LED turns off you're no longer broadcasting any video this allows you to switch channels and bands without having to worry about uh, hitting somebody else's VTX and then uh, destroying their video so unlike the other uh, VTX uh, in order to change b channels and bands uh, the button combinations have changed uh, it's still one press to change uh, the channel so just go ahead and uh, one click, quick click will, change, will uh, let you go through all the channels. If you want to change bands, you're going to have to, have to hit the button twice. And then this will allow you to change uh, the band that you're on. So uh, pretty simple uh, once you remember it. I'm going to go ahead and put this down for a second and I'll show you the original VTX that we have and we're still currently selling. So this VTX over here, this is the older version, which is the FX799T. As you can see, it's very similar design, but you can tell that there are, gonna, there are changes in the design of the VTX. So we're going to go ahead and plug this, one, plug this one up and show you the differences. So as you can see, uh, when we plug it up, the LEDs uh, look very similar. On this one, when you push uh, a light push to the button, this is the uh, FX799T uh, without the uh, RF uh, on-off switch. Uh, a quick press will allow you to go through all of the channels. And then uh, in order to change bands, you actually push and hold. So doing a double press won't actually do anything for the older version. It'll actually just uh, switch through channels a little bit quicker. So we're going to do one quick test before we end the video, and it's just out of curiosity. I have here a uh, temperature reading uh, heat gun, and what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if the new FX668T 
if it generates any heat uh, when it's not broadcasting video. I know for the old one, uh, the moment you start uh, plugging it in, it's going to start generating heat because it starts broadcasting video. So we're going to very quickly uh, get a benchmark for each of these, and then uh, we'll go ahead and plug them in and see if, uh, what kind of heat they generate on the table. So. Right now I'm seeing 67 degrees Fahrenheit for uh, the FX799T and the other one is generating about the same amount of heat right now which is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll go ahead and plug both of them in. So I'm going to flip over the 799T so you can see that it's plugged in right now and it's responding. Here is the 668T, and it's plugged in, and the green LED is not showing right now, so it's actually not broadcasting any video. So let's go ahead and do a quick temperature reading. This should change almost immediately. Uh, right now, it's at about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's starting to generate some heat. The other one is, let's just give it a few seconds. It's still at 67 degrees Fahrenheit, so I'm just going to give it like a minute to 30 seconds to see if it actually starts changing. And yeah, I can notice that uh, this is starting to warm up a little bit, so I'm sure that uh, this one will start getting warm here in a second. Uh, a 200 milliwatt uh, VTX, uh, generally speaking, you can leave it plugged up for a few minutes and uh, it won't hurt it. But if you get into like the six to eight hundred milliwatts, uh, they start generating a lot of heat very quickly. Uh, those uh, type of VTXs, you really need air moving through them as soon as you plug them up to keep them cool. So this one over here is also 200 milliwatt. Uh, we'll turn it on here in a second to see what kind of heat it generates once you actually turn on video broadcasting. So I can actually feel the heat difference now. So. So you'll notice it's at about 82 degrees Fahrenheit when I'm measuring right at the center, 87, 83, somewhere around there, depending on which spot I uh, target onto the VTX. But you can tell that it's starting to get warm. On the other one, in which we haven't uh, turned on, it's still staying at a nice uh, 67 degrees, 68 degrees. So. A uh, really nice feature is that uh, when you don't have this turned on, uh, it's not generating any additional heat. So you can leave this plugged in when you're testing and tuning and you won't have to worry about burning out your VTX. Super nice feature to have if you are uh, if you like tuning and toying around with your VTX and it's not having any air moved across it. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in to see if we start seeing the same heat temperatures as the other one. So go ahead and hit the button. Now you see the green LED turn on, which means that now it's starting to broadcast video. We'll wait a few seconds to see if uh, it starts generating the equivalent amount of heat uh, the other one is. So put that down. Let's go ahead and do another heat reading here on this side. Yeah, so you're seeing it jump up to 105, 101. So it's definitely starting to move up in the heat range. and. I'm not going to leave this turned on any longer. Don't really want to uh, get this VTX too hot, but uh, you can definitely tell that it's starting to get a little bit warm. Uh, it's still very, you know, you can still hold on to it. It's still not like super hot, but uh, you can tell that it's generating heat. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off because uh, that was just a simple test to see um, which one was generating heat. So we'll give this one a few seconds. I can feel it getting warm now and it's getting warm about the same about the same temperature as the other one so you can tell that it's starting to move up again just like the other one it's starting to get into the 83's and 90's right there so it's starting to uh, depending on where I move the, uh, the red LED on the chip uh, you're starting to see uh, temperatures increase so just like the other one, once you plug it in, once it starts broadcasting video, it is going to start getting warm on you, but it's really nice to be able to turn uh, the RF off and then uh, save yourself on some heat. 
So that was a quick look at the new FX668T. Uh, definitely has some very nice features compared to the original one. Unfortunately, it also costs more. So you're going to have to weigh the cost to the benefits that you get. Uh, the original FX799T, we still uh, buy these and we still have them available because they're a very good, very affordable entry model VTX. But there's definitely some benefits to upgrading to the 668T, uh, definitely a very nice VTX. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and we'll try to get to them as soon as we can. Thank you for watching.